Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 28 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show how you could remove any plugins in Lightroom that you find that you're no longer using. Now, those of you know, you process your image and then you're going to send it over to a plugin. You could do that one of three different ways. You could right click on the thumbnail itself and go up to Edit In and you'll get this list of all the plugins that you have installed in Lightroom. You also could do that by right clicking on the image itself and then going down to Edit In or you could go up to Photo Edit In. Again, you'll get the same list of all the plugins you have installed in Lightroom. Now, in my case, I find that I'm not using any of the perfect effects plugins. Now, I'm not saying they're bad or, or anything like that. They're excellent plugins, as a matter of fact. It's just I have so many plugins, and I really don't use plugins all that much. If I do, I'm usually just removing noise with Topaz Denoise, or I might be doing something with some Nick's, some of the Nick plugins. I, I just find I'm not really doing much with the perfect, um, the perfect plugins. So I'd like to remove those. Also, um, Analog Effects Pro is a plugin by Nick, and they updated it to Analog Effects Pro too. Well, you can see I have both of them here. I'd like to remove Analog Effects Pro. How do I go about doing that? Well, it's actually very easy. If you have a Mac, you would go up to the Lightroom menu. If you have a PC, go to the Edit menu. And what you're looking for is Preferences. So we open up Preferences, and you're going to go over to the third tab from the left, External Editing. Go down about halfway and you can see this Additional External Editor. And it has Preset, it's a drop down. Open that up and you'll see we have all your uh, plugins listed here. Now I mentioned I want to get rid of Analog Effects Pro because they updated it to Analog Effects Pro 2. So we just pick Analog Effects Pro now it's in the drop-down. Now we open the drop-down again, and at the bottom of the drop-down, it says Delete Preset Analog Effects Pro. Just click on that, and it's going to ask you, are you sure? And of course, I'm sure. And now that one is gone. Now I could do that with these perfect effects ones also, the perfect black and white 8. And I just pick it, then I open the drop-down again and go down to Delete. And I do this with all the Perfect Effects uh, plugin 8s. I do have one uh, 9 on here, I think. Oh, no, I don't. Thought I did. But, anyways, we're going to delete those. Now, again, that's, I'm not saying these Perfect Effects plugins are garbage or anything like that. Um, it is an older version. They have Perfect Effects uh, plugins, I think they're up to 9.5. And I probably will buy that someday and do some videos on those. Uh, because actually I've uh, just finished a video. I'm starting to do Nick plugins, some demos of that. As you know, I've been doing Topaz and I'm continuing those. So I am doing a lot of videos on different plugins. And I will be doing the Perfect Effects plugins as well. I hope I didn't screw up. It's hard for me to talk, think, and actually do things like this at the same time. Okay, I think I have them all. They're all gone. So we're done. We'll close down the preferences. Now, if I right click on the image, go to edit in, you could see they're gone. So it just makes my list at least a little smaller and I could find what I'm looking for a little more efficiently. So hopefully that helps you. I did get emails in the past, none recently, but in the past, people asking me how they could remove, uh, you know, plugins that uh, they no longer use. And that's how you do it. So that's it for episode 28. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. You guys, if you didn't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be uh, notified when I come out with new videos. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.